Imagine a country transforming its raw materials on site, creating jobs and embracing green energy, all while boosting its economy. This is exactly what's happening in Burkina Faso right now. We're talking about a bold move by the Simaf Group that's more than just business. It's a leap towards sustainable industrialization. But before we get into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our updates. On August 8, 2024, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the president of Burkina Faso, presided over an extraordinary ceremony in the Kosodo Industrial Zone. Have you ever wondered how transforming raw materials on site could impact a nation's economy? This event was all about that laid the foundation stone for two groundbreaking projects, a calcined clay production unit and a solar power plant. These initiatives symbolize a shift towards industrial self-reliance, a critical step for any developing nation. As the nation takes the sleep, the global community watches with anticipation. The ceremony was a momentous occasion, drawing attention from across the region. Could this be the beginning of a new industrial age for Burkina Faso? Why are these projects so significant? The Carlson Clay Production Unit is expected to produce a whopping 900 tons of clay per day, essential for cement production. Meanwhile, the solar power plant, with a capacity of 5 megawatts peak, partially meet the electrical needs of the Simaf plant. How will these developments change the landscape of Burkina Faso's industrial sector? These two facilities, representing a massive investment of 33.3 billion CFA francs, signal the country's move towards sustainable industrial practices. This investment is not just in infrastructure, but in the future prosperity of Burkina Faso. By taking such bold steps, the country is setting a new standard for regional development. The scale of these projects is a testament to the ambition driving Burkina Faso's economic strategy. Could this be a model for other African nations to emulate? What does this mean for the people of Burkina Faso? Jobs, lots of them. Not just in managing these facilities, but also in the broader cement industry. And with solar energy being integrated, production costs are likely to drop, possibly reducing the cost of cement in the near future. This reduction could make building materials more accessible, fueling construction and growth. The potential for such developments to boost local economies is immense. How might this affect the everyday lives of Burkina Bay citizens? The ripple effect of job creation and lower costs could spur significant economic development across various sectors. The benefits of these projects extend beyond economic growth. Have you considered the environmental impact of such initiatives? By incorporating solar energy, SEMAF is not only reducing its carbon footprint, but also contributing to the global push toward renewable energy. This shift towards sustainability is crucial in a world increasingly threatened by climate change. The alignment of industrial growth with environmental stewardship is a key to long-term success. Could Burkina Faso's commitment to green energy inspire other African nations to follow suit? The success of this project could serve as a beacon for countries seeking to balance development with environmental responsibility. Such efforts highlight the growing importance of integrating sustainable practices in industrial development. Another aspect to consider is the strategic importance of these developments in strengthening regional ties. The cooperation between Burkina Faso and Morocco through the Simaf Group's projects highlights the potential of South-South collaborations. Could this be a model for other African countries looking to enhance their industrial capabilities? The success of these projects might very well set a precedent for future partnerships across the continent, fostering economic resilience and unity. This trend could lead to a new era of collaborative growth in Africa. Such collaborations could redefine how African nations approach development, focusing on mutual benefits and shared growth. This partnership underscores the value of African nations working together to achieve common goals. But there's more to this story. The collaboration between Burkina Faso and Morocco through these projects strengthens South-South cooperation, a vital component in the region's development. Is this the dawn of a new era for Burkina Faso's economy? The CEO of Simaf certainly believes so. This partnership is more than just business. It's a testament to the power of international cooperation in achieving shared goals. The long-term implications of such alliances could reshape the regional economic landscape. How might this influence future investments in Burkina Faso and beyond? The strengthening of these ties could lead to more robust and diversified economic partnerships in the region. 
President Traoré, through his representative Serge Poda, highlighted that Sima's presence in Burkina Faso has not only boosted the economy but also provided employment to over 400 people directly and supported the livelihoods of more than 1,600 indirectly. This is a clear testament to the positive impact of such initiatives on local communities. How often do we see such direct benefits from industrial projects? These numbers show that industrial growth can and does translate to tangible improvements in people's lives, creating a ripple effect across the economy. The future of Burkina Faso's workforce seems promising with these developments. The impact of these jobs will likely extend beyond the immediate workforce, benefiting entire communities. The president emphasized the importance of valorizing local raw materials, a move that aligns perfectly with the nation's industrialization policy. He even extended an invitation to foreign investors, urging them to recognize Burkina Faso as an investment hub with all necessary facilities in place. Isn't it inspiring to see such forward-thinking leadership? This call to action is a bold statement of Burkina Faso's readiness to be a player on the global stage. The focus on maximizing local resources is a testament to the nation's resilience. How might this reshape perceptions of the country's potential? The focus on local resources signals a commitment to building a self-sufficient and resilient economy. Moreover, the solar power plant's surplus energy will be given back to Sonnabel, further contributing to the country's energy grid. This is a perfect example of how industrial progress can go hand-in-hand -hand with environmental sustainability. The integration of renewable energy into the national grid could have long-term benefits, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and lowering energy costs. The success of this initiative could pave the way for similar projects across the continent. Could this be the start of broader transition to renewable energy across the region? The surplus energy will support the nation's growing demand, reinforcing the importance of sustainable practices in modern industry. In conclusion, the initiatives led by Captain Ibrahim Traoré and the Simaf Group mark a pivotal moment in Burkina Faso's journey towards industrial self-reliance, sustainable growth and regional cooperation. These projects not only promise economic prosperity, but also set a powerful example of how development can be harmonized with environmental stewardship and international collaboration. As Burkina Faso embarks on this transformative path, the ripple effects could inspire a new era of industrial innovation across Africa. What are your thoughts on Burkina Faso's approach to industrialization and sustainability? Do you think other African nations should follow suit? How do you see these developments shaping the future of the region? Please share your insights in the comment section below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the African web for more in-depth analyses of Africa's most significant projects and achievements.